Hey, this is a video review for uh, a prototype I'm working on. And just just to be clear, this is a, a rough prototype. Um, there's a couple things I would change. But I want to get this video out there for uh, the customer to review. Just so they can see what we're talking about. Um, so this is a bracelet that, I make, that I've been working on. Um, like I said, it's rough. Um, and the design is for to hold a Fitbit Flex so just to clarify this is my model it's made of leather of uh, the Fitbit Flex uh, I don't actually have Fitbit I tried to do this with wood and I almost chopped the finger off so I ended up using uh, some thick leather scraps I don't know if you can tell there's three layers there and I glued them together I shaved them down um, using my rotary tool to kind of mimic the, the Fitbit Flex. So this should give you a pretty good idea of what we're talking about. So the bracelet is, you know, the original design was using a, a top layer of leather and then sewing a pouch underneath and, you know, putting that in. When I first did that, so pretend this is the bracelet, you know, I had this much, even with a pouch, I had this much sticking out. So when I, when I had this on my my wrist for example and you'd, ha you'd have this huge bulge and I mean I could still do it that way um, you know with this with this kind of thing but um, so much of the Fitbit is just is out there you know and it, you know if you're looking straight on it doesn't look like a big deal but the moment you start turning it you can see um, a lot so what I did with the design is let me move that back a little bit is I actually put two layers of leather and I tried to you know I dyed this and I dyed the the other layer black but then uh, without thinking I edge coated the <laughs> the edge um, and I tried to sand it off just but I because I wanted to show you that there's two layers of leather so that is just me trying to sand off to kind of explain the two layers of leather to you so the top part is is tooled and it has um, you know whatever you want on it but it has it says choose awesome uh, it's one of the customer requests and so that that top that top piece is glued using special leather glue to this bottom piece and the bottom piece is a thick piece and I dyed it black just to uh, show the difference in theory this whole thing this 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 can all be dyed this brown okay so I just had the brown and black to kind of help you separate. So, and then, I don't know if you can see that or not, but what I ended up doing was I cut into the black leather and I created basically a countersink, if you can see that or not. So, when you stick this in there, let me see if I can do this on camera. Alright, so it sinks in just a little bit, a little bit. Now, this isn't that much... Uh, this is probably like one eighth of an inch, okay? That that black leather right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's it's enough to where this doesn't bump out as much as it was earlier. And it creates a nice pouch. This is kind of a molded I got dye on it. But this is a molded, you know, thin leather. And you know, it keeps the shape pretty well. But when you do that and it slips in just beneath this lip. I don't know if you can see that or not. I made it to focus. Okay. It creates a lip right here. So this won't just slide out. You have to kind of lift it up. All right. There we go. There's a lip right there. So you have to kind of lift it out, out of that lip to get out. So let me show you again really quick at this angle. See how it sinks down inside. So this is a one eighth. I mean, I could use thicker leather. The deal is, it still makes you know it makes for a thick bracelet. But when you have it on, and you can see that the Fitbit is against the top layer, right? So see that tan color right there in the inside, it's the inside rectangle. That's really the back side of this leather. So that's the stop. Hopefully you guys, hopefully that makes sense of what I'm doing. And there's, there's multiple ways to wet format it. You can, 
This left is flexible enough to where you can put the larger end of the Fitbit because I know it tapers a little bit. You know, it tapers right here. You can stick it in on that side, but I'm doing it this side where the larger end is on the outside. It just gives you more uh, grab. So when you have this on your wrist, and I actually didn't attach the snaps on, um, you know, it's still, don't get me wrong, it's still big, it's still, um, you know, you can still see the Fitbit forming in there, right? You can still see the, sh the shape, like if I, if I bent this, like <laughs> there it is, it's, it's flat, that part is not going to curve. Now I have small wrists, um, so when, when it comes to curve on my wrist, you can really see it. If you had larger wrist, uh, it would be it would the bracelet would be more oval, and so you wouldn't necessarily be able to see the the curve so much. But anyway, guys, I hope that makes sense. This is kind of like I said, a rough prototype. Um, the stitching I I stitch with a machine, and it did not work well because this three dimensional thing kept wanting to push the needle over. So. I will probably, if I do this design, I would I would hand stitch this molded uh, case onto the back end, and you know, in theory, the leather glue should like th this should hold how it is. These two pieces of leather should not separate. Um, but uh, my thought is on the finished product is to run a stitch, just a border stitch right here on the top and the bottom, basically, um, you know stitching the two pieces of two layers of leather together and you know and, and this part too it would it all get stitched together um, in theory the glue should work I've done bracelets where they didn't want stitching up here and uh, I haven't had any complaints it's it's a special leather glue that's it's contact cement and um, if done right it it won't it will not come apart I mean if I try to take this apart now um, it will rip leather the, the leather grain you know, before the glue actually adheres, it'll rip, it'll rip fibers. So, um, but yeah, I mean, just to, I guess, make it more solid, I could, I would probably want to run a stitch here. And that would also have to be hand stitched because of this, this design. So I cannot get the, the leather under the presser foot with this setup. Um, anyway, guys, let me know what you think. So, this is m my first prototype. Um, my, the original design idea I know was, to have the the pouch just right on the back of a bracelet, but like I said, it was you know when I when I first did that, it it was really a lot of the Fitbit was out. Well, all of it was out, plus the lining that the pouch that was holding it in spot. And so as I brainstormed, I I wanted to do and show this two layer design where this one eighth. Is that right? Yeah, one eighth thickness leather is joint glued to the thinner top leather, and then you have you know when you put this in, you lose one eighth of the Fitbit into the leather. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I apologize that the brace the my prototype looks so rough. Uh, I was going to clean it up, but I also wanted to get this video out. Um, you know, I've had a couple requests uh, for the Fitbit design. So, um, I just want to get that out there for people. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, uh, of course, I can tool whatever you want onto the design. Um, and I can always do that stitch, you know, I'll do a stitch right here to where it, it secures this. But at the same time, do keep in mind that it, it, this would be hand-stitched, um, which does take a little bit longer time. But, um, you know, I start off hand-stitching leather, and so I have... <laughs> pretty good experience with that so that's not a, really an issue just to show you one more time if it was snapped closed it would be like that and you can see you still have a bulge right you can still see a, a lift but it is not as pronounced as the other one was uh, where there was no thing for this to sink into and getting this out um, you know, I chose to leave this much gap here because it makes it easy to grab the Fitbit. And I'm not really worried. I mean, I think the Fitbit Flex is supposed to be water resistant to so many. So if you have it against your hand and you're sweating, 
I, I don't anticipate you having any problems. When I first, I did a couple versions of this. When I first did it, this pouch, I had it, you know, over the top. Uh, the issue with that was, it was really hard to get out, um, because this is this is inset into the leather. Because this is inset into the leather, that when you have a such leather covering it all the way, um, you can't get purchase on it. And when I was trying to, you know, bend this backwards and pull it out, it was just, it was not good. Uh, so I, the decision I've made is to kind of leave about a quarter inch of the Fitbit out. Like I said, this will not slide out. Um, if I try to push it from this angle, it's not going to slide out because there's this one eighth lip right here, right? So. You know, if I try to slip this out or move it around, it's basically I cut the little rectangular piece that's cut into the black leather. And, um, and this camera, all right. So the rectangular piece that's cut into the leather is just just right. It's probably two millimeters play, maybe even less. Uh, this way, there's no play, so it's not going to slide out until you until you lift up and then pull it out okay anyway guys that's the idea for the Fitbit custom leather bracelet um, if you have any questions let me know if you have any prototype changes uh, I'm, I'm open you know if this is just the idea I came up with it's not the best idea probably and there's probably other ways to do it um, I can't think of any other ways to do it right now but um, yeah I mean this is this is it that allows you to have a custom tool piece you know bracelet on top and really if you wanted it without the stitching and you know you'd have this kind of clean look to it because this leather glue you know will hold um, and this is also a brown it's like an antique brown that I use and it has a really cool color. I think um, it shows off. It, it fills in basically whatever you tooled in the in darker. And then as you put the dye on or the the antique on. But yeah, all right. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I look forward to hearing from from the several people who have asked me about this. All right, guys. Take care. Bye. Oh, if you have any questions, uh, you can contact me. My email, leathercraft209 at gmail.com. Also, go check out my website. It's www.leathercraft209.com. Uh, has My contact information has a couple galleries. And pretty soon, I will have a link to my Etsy store and maybe another store that uh, you can purchase stuff from me directly that's already pre-made. Because um, custom-made orders cost a little bit more. So if you're looking just for a bracelet, a watch band, a wallet that I've already done, uh, go check out my website. Alright guys, take care. Bye.